Hey guys, it's Cryptic Lunar, and today we're going to be going over the best loadouts for attacking operators in Random City Siege. So first you're going to start off with Sludge. The first thing we're going to be looking at is the M590A1 shotgun. Now, for Sludge, I prefer to use the L8, but I'm just going to be going over all loadouts today. So for the shotgun, I like to not run any site. I don't run no weapon hollow. Then I always have to run a laser, so I'm just gonna buy that right now. And then, for the secondary, you can either use the PT6 handgun or you can use the SMG11. Also, you're gonna want to use the machine pistol in this scenario. For the SMG11, I like to run the holographic sight. Obviously, sights are really up to your choice. Usually, I always run hollow reflex. Because hollow is more for body shots, while well, I feel like I can be a lot more precise with the reflex. It's your choice. But for the compensator, I always used to like run compensator for the SMG11 because the compensators to be at number four, they reduce the recoils by the over rapid firing. So if you're gonna be firing at the entire mag, the compensator is gonna be the best choice, which I like to use. And you always just want to put vertical grip on it. This helps control the recoil for you. So, the next offer we're going to be looking at is Thatcher. So, Thatcher, I have the exact same loadout for Thatcher for the L8 and the shotgun, but Thatcher also has the capability of having the AR. So, for the AR, I like to run ACOG on it. That's obviously your preference, of course, but I like ACOG because of the magnification zoom. Um, I also like to run the compensator on this because the uh, gun has, such a, has a decent fire rate, so it's better to run compensator for that rapid firing. And also you're gonna run you gonna wanna attach a vertical grip to make it a lot better. Just helps you control recoil, keep it more stable. Oh yeah, and for that So Thatcher does not have the ability to equip the S and G eleven. You're only gonna be able to use the P T G six MK twenty five handgun. So for that, whenever you have the option, always make sure to run a barrel. I usually run muscle break on this. I don't know, I usually run on suppressors in this game because there's such a big damage drop off and I really don't think they're that helpful in the end. So next we're going to be looking at Ash. Now for Ash, I kind of have a different setup. For the G3, I don't really play it, but when I do, I like to run the ACOG compensator because it has a nice fire rate, it has a nice long fire rate, so you're going to want to run a compensator for that recoil spread over rapid firing, and then vertical grip because Ash, you really don't want to use your angle grip even if you're going to rush since Ash already has such a quick ADS time. We're going to be looking at the R4C now. So for the R4C, I like to run a reflex on that just because a lot of times I'm quickly moving with Ash, like I'm not just holding an angle for a long time. So I usually like to run a reflex, but of course sights are always your own preference. The R4C also has a really high fire rate, so you're going to want to run the compensator on that for that recoil spread. And then you only have the option of vertical grip, so just put that always, keep that recoil down. Uh, for Ash, I usually like to use a 5.7 USG. I don't know. I just like to feel a bit more. It's obviously your choice. And like I said before, I'm always going to be running muzzle brake on all my pistols. I don't run suppressor. I can do the same thing for the M45. It's going to run muzzle brake. And by the way, I really don't suggest it, but for all weapons, unless it's a shotgun, don't be running laser sights because I used to for a long time and I never realized until I was watching like how I died that the enemy, they can always see your laser sight if you're just holding an angle. They can see your laser sight just looking at them. If you're just not ADSing, they'll see your laser sight and that gets away in position. So the next one we're going to be looking at is Thermite. Thermite has access to the M1014 and the 556XI. So I don't really rush shotgun with the M1014, but usually if I do, I'll just equip a reflex sight and then I'll equip the laser sight. Also, your sights are attaching, but I prefer reflex for shotguns, just be a little more accurate when I'm not just um, ADSing. So that's gonna be it. For the 556XR, I actually put the 
in the lead skin. I like to run a cog. Um, he does have a decent lead. He doesn't really have that high of a fire rate, so I would suggest you either go with the flash hider or the compensator. I would honestly this scenario prefer the flash hider, as you're going to probably be doing small bursts when you're playing thermite. So you might want to run flash hider in that scenario. Um, thermite has the same pistols as Ash, so you're just going to be wanting to run flash hider. That's all for that. Uh, we're going to be looking at Twitch now. Twitch has the best gun in the game if you didn't know before, the FAMAS. FAMAS has extreme high fire rate and damage. So the FAMAS, I like to run ACOG, and I like to run, run Muzzle Break. Some people like to run Commissaire too, but I like Muzzle Break. It's just a laser if you use it that way. It really reduces the overall weapon kick of single shot firing. Obviously, attaching vertical grip just to give that stability and control recoil a bit more. Um, I will tell you what I'm going to use for 417, although I've never used it for, so I don't have attachments. I always try to add to with it. But if I ever will play the 417, I'll probably run a cog. It has a really slow fire rate, so obviously you're not going to want to be using compensator. You're going to want to be using either flash hide or muzzle break. I think you want to use flash hide in this scenario. Then you're also going to want to attach a vertical grip. For the SGDCQB, as I like to say for all shotguns, although I don't use it for Twitch, I will attach probably a reflex and a laser slide for that. That's all you need to know for that. Uh, Montaigne. So Montaigne has access to two pistols. He has access to the P9 handgun, and he also has access to the LFP 586 revolver. So for the P9 handgun, I run obviously the muzzle break, and I run a laser slide for hip fire accuracy. Only time I'm ever going to be running hip fire running a laser sight and pistols. Also for the LFP, I actually use the normal pistol, I don't use the revolver, but if I do, I'll just add the laser sight to it. So you're going to go over glass now. So for glass loadout, he only has access to his sniper and marksman rifle, the OTS-03. For that, for pinpoint accuracy, I like to use a red dog slate because it just has that one dog and really helps like see it clearer and better. And then I like to run the flash fighter since that, that's only for small bird, for small burst recall and you're not gonna be like spreading down with a sniper. Um for the two handguns, he has the GSH 18 and the PMM. Um uh, I all I do for those is attach the flash fighter, because I feel like that's the best choice. I mean the muscle brain, because that's just the best choice. Then I'm also gonna also attach the muzzle break to the PMM. I just like to run the PMM more on a, I just think it feels a lot better when I play with it. I'm more accurate with it. It's your choice. For Fuse. Now, if you didn't know before, Fuse can have a ballistic shield. He can run an LMG and then he has access to the AK-12. The AK-12 is actually a really underrated gun, it has a high damage, it has a decent fire rate, so if you know that, that's it's actually pretty good. For a few shield, you're going to want to attach for the pistols, the same one I have for glass, but it's going to be flash muzzle break for both the PMM and the GSH-18. I'm going to be running laser sights on them because it's a shield, so I like to be more accurate. Uh, for LMG, I like to run ACOG, just get a better, closer view. Flash hider because it has a slow fire rate, then I like to run vertical grip just to decrease the weapon's recoil. Sets are obviously your preference. Now, for the AK-12, I also like to run a cog just get a clear view. It has a decent fire rate, so I'd like to run a compensator for that rapid firing, and then, then use vertical grip to decrease the weapon's recoil. And just for future reference, guys, I think you should always do vertical grip instead of an angle grip because right now in Rainbow Six Siege, there's really no difference in the ADS time between a vertical grip and an angle grip. Although Ubisoft has said that they would like to to change that in the future, so for now, just use vertical grip for all your guns. Now to me, going to one of my favorite characters, Blitz. 
So Blizzard only has access to the P12, which is a really nice pistol. Um, I don't know muscle break and laser on it, just for that hit bar accuracy to control the recoil a bit more. Uh, that's all for blunts. Um, for IQ, I like to play with the commander you see in my previous videos, but she also has access to the AUG, which is a good gun, and the G8, which is like, it does have a 50 mag, but it doesn't hit hard and the fire rate isn't that great on it, so I don't really suggest running that. For the commando, I'm gonna run a cog. Uh, it doesn't have the highest fire rate, so I like to run flash hider with it. And then I'm gonna run a vertical grip like always. For the AUG, I'm gonna be running just a cog. And then it's just another replay, only attached to equipment. But you're gonna have high fire rate either, so you're gonna wanna run flash hider on that. Uh, for the GA-A1, I like to run a cog compensated bird grip because even though it has a decent fire, even though it's not that high, and since it has a 50 mag, you're really going to want to spray with that. So compensator is the best choice. IQ only has access to the P12, so you're just going to want to run muscle break on that. So now I'm going over to DLC Ops. For Buck, he has access to the CA SSW assault rifle, then the marching rifle to the cameras. For the sight rifle, I like to run a cog, but honestly, you can also run reflex hollow as the gun does have a lot of recoil, so if you're gonna want to control that, you can always run reflex and hollow on a better chance. Uh, I do like to run compensator because that's a pretty nice fire rate. I would suggest using that too for those still. For the Martian Rifle, I run ACOG, and then I'm gonna run Flash Hider on that. Because it does only- this doesn't really have a fire rate, just a one tell. Um, Buck does also have access to the MK19 MMM pistol, and I'm gonna attach just a Flash Hider to that. Just- I mean a muzzle break, this should better. I'm not going to the laser sight because I'll be my position if I'm ever going to want. For Blackbeard. So, Blackbeard has access to the MK17, and he's has access to the SR25. The MK17, I like to run an ACOG, and then I like to run Compensated Burger Grip. And for Blackbeard, he does have a very slow fire rate. But because of his slow mag, you're probably gonna because of his short mag, you're gonna be using all 20 bullets at once. So I'm use compensator for that. And of course use vertical grip to control the recoil. Uh for the SR25, I run A cog, flash hider, and then I'm gonna use a vertical grip. Just because it's a Markson rifle. Um Blackbeard has access to the Deagle. Now the Deagle's a really nice pistol, but you don't have any attachments for it, so you're just going to be able to control the recoil and learn how to use it. Now for Capital. Uh, Capital has access to the Para 308, the M249, so I like to run Compensator and of course ACOG and Vertical Grip. That's why I run all my attachments usually for all my guns to ACOG or the grip. And then it's only the barrel that I'm going to be changing. But for the barrel 308, I'm going to run run compensator just because of that damage and the ability to spray with this gun. Um, the Gojo one, I'm going to also be running a con for doing every compensator because it's an LMG, so I'm going to be spraying this gun. But when I do put Capital on the para 308, it's a new setup. And of course, for the handgun, you're going to want to run flashlight. You're going to want to run muscle break. That's all. No laser sight. The next one's going to be Habana. She has access to the Type 89 and then the shotgun Supernova. Uh, I don't run the Supernova, but I like it with the hollow sight. That's all. But for the assault rifle, you're going to want to use a cog. Oh, this is the only gun that I suggest you use an angle grip for because just the ADS time on Habon's gun is so bad that you're just going to want to use angle grip to get a tiny bit of advantage. And then you're going to want to run flash lighter just because it has a really low mag and a very high fire rate. Habon also has access to an SMG, the Mary 9, and then the handgun. 
So I run the bearing line, and for the bearing line, I just run reflex just because it's a, just better, just a better way to get like a nicer, like neater view and get a more like precise headshot compared. And I like to run compensator because of the very high fire rate. Jackal. Jackal is one of my favorite lovers to play. I haven't played in a while. I'm using access to three guns, the uh, C7E. So for that, I run the ACOG vertical grip and then Compensator because it has a decent fire rate. Like it's really easy to control recoil. Uh, the PW9, I prefer to run either Reflex or ACOG just because it does have a lot of recoil on it and I just like to rush with Jack when I'm playing the PDW. And of course, I'm going to attach Compensator to vertical grip. Then for a shotgun, I don't want to make any sediment, but I do use a laser just because I get a better view. Jackal has access to two secondaries. She has access to the USP-40 and the shotgun, the ITA-12S. For the shotgun, I like to run the hollow, just get a time to better view, and then I like to run a laser. We're going to be going over the next. So Ying has access to the T95 and the 612 shotgun. The T95, this gun doesn't really hit hard and it's not, it's got a ton of recoil on it. So I'll either be running a card or reflex depending on the situation, but I also will have a vertical grip and a compensator attached. Uh, for the shotgun, I don't really run any sight and I just run a laser on it. Um, for Ying's handgun, you're going to want to run muscle break and then no laser sight. So the last two operators are going to be the white noise operators, Sophia and Dokebi. Sophia has access to two primary weapons, the LMGE, LMG and so you're going to want to run Compensator and ACOG, your choice of sight, and then vertical grip for that. I don't always really judge LMGE, it's not, it's like, okay LMG, but she just has a better primary weapon, the F762. So I like to run the ACOG, Compensator, Vertical Grip, run the M762, but it's also just your choice of sight. Just make sure you want a Compensator for a gun like Sophia's. And Sophia also has access to the RG15 pistol, so you're going to want to attach, I don't really play Sophia, but it already comes to the red dot side attached, and you're going to want to run Muscle Break. So finally, our last operator. So maybe the Kevi. The Kevi doesn't have access to any high fire rate weapon. She only has access to a Martin rifle and then a shotgun. So on a Martin rifle, you're gonna want to run ACOG, vertical grip, and then compensator. Obviously your choice of sight, I just prefer ACOG for that zoomed in magnification, especially with a Martian rifle or handshot tricky. Then for the ghost G, I prefer to use the reflex light just because you only have two magnets so you need to make sure your shots are hitting and are precise. Then I don't have a over. I don't want a laser just because it's your primary weapon and like I just feel like you don't you're not gonna be kept firing with that type of shotgun because you need to be precise. She does have access to two uh, machine pistol a machine pistol and then an SMG. You know, for the SMG twelve I run reflex the high recoil and then a vertical group. Then for C75, you don't get access to a site, but I do like to run. And I do not. I do like to run no like attachment on this gun because uh, the only option you got is a suppressor, which really isn't worth it. So that's gonna be it for today's video, but guys. On the best loadouts for attacking operators, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me whether or not you want me to continue a defender's best loadout video. Dude,